PBS versus a biotech degree. Which is better? This is a very complex topic and today I'll be talking about or helping you compare both the degrees. But I'm taking this up because many parents come to me to our office as well as uh, contact me online or offline asking whether I should encourage my child to go for a biotech degree or should I go for the age old medical degree. So today we will try to compare both of them and we'll also look at other allied degrees like nursing and pharmacy and see which one is better. Now first things first, uh, one important thing you have to analyze as a parent or as a child is what you want to become in the future and how hectic that work is going to be. See all jobs are hectic, let's agree to that. All jobs are stressful, but there are some jobs where the work-life balance is not there. Now, with due respect to all the hard work which doctors do, if you feel that you don't want to give a hectic or a, a hectic schedule or a work-life balance where there's no work-life balance, so, you know, probably medical field is not for you because medical field demands a lot of sacrifice of personal time, family time and dedication devotion towards the patient now that is something which most parents don't keep in mind everybody is looking at how much money this particular person is going to make after a medical degree or a biotech degree and we try to compare that so i'll come to that but the first thing you should know is biotech field offers a better work-life balance than the uh, medical field now, in biotech field, there are various aspects. The R&D work-life balance will not be that great, but yeah, it is also still better than a uh, medical degree. But yes, that's the work-life balance scenario which you should consider. The second aspect which most parents and students ask me is, okay, we uh, agree that work-life balance, but which will help me make more money because I'm from a middle class. I want to re you know, become a rich class, of course. That is where now the question to be asked is, how long the degree will take, you should also keep in mind. So a normal medical degree after MBBS, it will take around five to six years. Okay. And the last final year will be an internship, which you have to do after going to a village. And then when you are getting placed into government hospitals, there the salary might be 60 or 70,000 rupees per month. But if you're getting placed in private medical um, hospitals, the Salary, you are still treated as a junior doctor and the salary is not that great. Now, this is something you should know. Uh, you competed with 26 lakh other people and then you got a medical seat. And after five years, you are still a junior doctor. But now the battle is even bigger because now five lakh people will write the NEET PG exam. And there you will have only 14,000 seats. You should qualify that. Then only you become a senior doctor. Then only you can start your private practice and earn respectable income, which ranges up to 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs, depending on where you are. It can go up to 5 lakhs also. Now, coming to the biotech sector. So basically, if we see the medical sector, it took 5 to 6 years of your MBBS and then another 3 years or 4 years comparatively uh, to, to prepare and qualify the NEET PG. So overall, 9 years it takes for you to start earning good money. Biotech sector also same. It will take seven to nine years to get good amount of money. But the growth of a person in biotech sector will be faster than a medical profession. Now, why do I say that? Because medical profession is something where you have to do private practice to earn a lot of money. Private colleges, private hospitals may pay you, but they will not pay you that huge that you can, uh, you know, have, uh, you can take your salaries for granted you have to really work hard for your private practice now coming to the next aspect is there is there are a lot of doctors already in the medical field in big cities and big cities is where you can earn a lot of money right so the number of doctors in big cities is very high the density of doctors while the density of doctors in smaller cities is less now if you go to smaller cities your earning potential declines if you are in the bigger city then your competition increases so it's not that easy job to run a private practice when it comes to the biotech sector, you have several biotech pharma companies, vaccine delivery companies, vaccine manufacturing companies, as well as uh, various companies which are into diagnostics and AI, ML and bioinformatics and whatnot. So what happens is when you get into these companies, you get high salary, which if you're a PhD, it starts from 90,000 rupees per month and it can go up to 5 lakh rupees per month also. 
right so that's about india now when you go abroad also the biotech industry is even, even bigger where you can get uh, you can earn even more so when you have to compare now i would say medical field and biotech field are equally rewarding the only difference will be the work life balance because both has the same earning potential the only thing is in medical field you can do private practice but now that is a gamble because it may work may not work but if it is a, a biotechnologist you work in a company you get fixed salaries and you have a good work life balance just like how it engineers are so uh, the question should not be that which is better mbbs or biotech degree the question should be what kind of life you want to give to your child or to yourself uh, when you have qualified medical or you, when you are a btech biotech or a uh, msc biotech now coming to the other questions which uh, many people ask me is instead shall i go for a b farm shall i go for nursing i would still say that the uh, nursing is like uh you are obviously into the allied field but it is a very noble profession again but you don't have a lot of money to earn and you cannot do private practice actually you you can obviously work in hospitals and there will be fixed salaries and it will not be that high so i will not um, suggest that instead biotech is still better coming to the pharmacy field see pharmacy after m pharm becomes a merger of biotech it's not that biotech is separate or ph- pharmacy is separate but if you look at uh, after b pharm if, if you're looking for a job you get formulation and development jobs fnd jobs in pharma companies where shifts will be like 8 hours 9 hours long once you get in you cannot get out for going to washroom also you have to wear a lab coat and keep working with mask and uh, gloves and it continues right because you, it's like a factory right you you are working in a factory so these are the pointers to consider when you are getting into any profession money will come to you if you are the best okay whether you are a doctor whether you are an engineer whether you are a biotechnologist whether you are a pharmacist no matter what you are money will follow if you are the number one in the field or in the top 100 top 5 5000 people but if you are a mediocre doctor it's not going to work work so whatever you want to become target the top most and at the same time remember in biotech the bioinformatics bio it is growing very fast there you have tremendous earning potential in fact bigger than the medical field also in fact a lot of mbbs doctors instead of going for neat pg they are coming to us and taking a biotech bioinformatics and clinical research degrees and uh, they are uh, taking help and growing going abroad as well as in india they are getting into various uh, companies so this is what my thoughts are this morning now if you have any further specific questions feel free to ask in the comment section i hope i was able to give you a unbiased view of both the uh, segments and um, one important thing is see, science is the art of asking questions unless you ask the question we won't be able to answer so feel free to ask your questions and uh, who knows i will choose that particular question as our next video topic thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye